Thank you very much for joining in this What's New in AutoStore 5 Service Pack 3 webcast. What I hope you will be able to learn in this webcast are some of the new capabilities that we have introduced in AutoStore 5 Service Pack 3. AutoStore 5 Service Pack 3 is all about new destinations, so let's talk a little bit about these destinations and new capabilities. We have two brand new places to deliver documents. First, Google Docs and Gmail. Cumulatively, think about this as a new solution for delivering your paper and electronic documents in cloud-based repositories, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Second, we have Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010, and also a handful of other document management systems that we have rolled in updated support for. First, let's talk about Google Apps. You may already have a free Gmail account, or even a Google Docs account, but what is Google Apps? Google Apps is a commercial version of all of Google's hosted applications. Docs, Gmail, Sites, Gtalk, etc. Instead of having the advertisement showing up in these, what Google is now doing is providing all of those hosted applications to organizations that want to cut base costs out of their operations. So in this case, maybe an organization is no longer interested in using and maintaining a fleet of Microsoft Exchange servers. Instead, they want to take advantage of the highly available Google Apps platform using Gmail and tie it back to their domain. From an outbound perspective, this means that any email sent by me would still be seen as my name at mycompany.com, but you as a mycompany.com employee would be using a Gmail interface to actually be delivering that without all the advertising that shows up in the free product. Here is the value proposition. $50 per user per year for Google Apps solution. This is becoming massively disruptive to not only Microsoft and their Exchange services, but also to IBM when you think about a Lotus Notes deployment. When we spoke to some IT directors that have made the conscious decision to move to Google Apps, the number one driver was an ROI of less than 12 months, just on email alone. Now, what we want to be able to do is ensure that we can address any major line of business application that requires scanned documents to be delivered into. So if an organization is running Google Apps, they can now drive their document-driven processes through Gmail or into Google Docs and fulfill that need right at the front panel of their multifunction peripheral. Now who are the organizations that use Google Apps? It turns out there are a very significant amount of organizations using it. The ones that are using it are the ones that tend to be having the most critical need to cut base costs out of their operations, like government, municipalities, universities, and some major commercial companies. Google does a great job of parading all of their success stories on their website. What you're looking at here is a set of video testimonials from their customers that are hosted up on their website. If you want to watch them, just pause this presentation now and click on the one that you would like to watch online. Now AutoStore can, from any of its data sources, like multifunction devices, network and Twain document scanners, and through your PC desktop, deliver directly up to not only the Google Docs applications, but also solve some email issues too, which we'll get into in just a moment. Document-driven information becomes immediately available to use within Google Apps, and MFDs, networked document scanners, and Twain-driven document scanners become a full part of the organization cloud infrastructure to further improve document-driven user collaboration and productivity within Google Apps. Scan once to multiple destinations. For example, send a scanned document to a customer fax, a personal searchable PDF into Google Docs, a notification to the account clerk, which is Gmail, and a proper copy for your organization's document management system. All of that in merely one step. Whatever document workflow you need to automate from very basic to very complex, AutoStore will allow you to aggregate multiple steps into just a few, all in merely a touch. So let's have a look at those benefits. What can you do? Well, all the good stuff that you've come to expect from AutoStore. Scan and apply keywords and securely store paper documents into Google Docs with the push of a button on your AutoStore enabled digital copier or MFD. Most interesting, there's also the ability to deliver to multiple sources. For example, you want your sales contract to go to your manager, but at the same time you would like to have a text searchable PDF placed in your personal Google Docs space. So have it dynamically routed into both, perfectly possible with AutoStore. Or, for example, send a document to a customer by fax, a copy to the appropriate account clerk through Gmail, and a personal text searchable PDF for yourself into Google Docs, all in just a touch. 
Also, automate indexing through the use of barcode, zonal OCR, database lookups, etc. And finally, have that working on nearly 500 models of MFDs and network document scanners already supported by NSI AutoStore. A tour of the tool. Within the AutoStore Process Designer, the Send to Google Docs route component is available as an e-connector, so you can go ahead and put it in either position within the workflow itself. This e-connector allows you to scan documents to corporate or personal Google Docs accounts and convert the information to Google Docs supported formats. It can be used in conjunction with barcode, zonal OCR, database lookups, and more. On the email side, we provide the ability to populate using your organization's global address list. We'll show you that in a second. And populate the Send to Items folder into Gmail itself. Here is a basic screenshot of the front panel of an MFP. Put your document in, press the button, and AutoStore will make that document available in the cloud. You can convert to all the usual file formats, so you can scan a document and have it readily available in the desired format in Google Docs. So here I'd like to scan a cover letter and have it readily available in an editable Google Word format. I touch the Scan to Google Word button, type in the name I wish to give to the document, click Done, and click Start and AutoStore will automatically take the scanned document, enhance image quality, perform OCR, and properly store it as an editable document within Google Docs. Now the native share documents capability of Google Docs makes a lot more sense. And it becomes an editable Google document. We could also dynamically rename those incoming files based on metadata. For instance, we have resumes fall into an HR folder in Google Docs and have it converted into a text searchable PDF named after the individual, the position, and the responsible manager. So all that cool stuff applies here as well. Our Send to Mail recipients now support Gmail, thus enabling native Gmail support on your MFP. Scan to Gmail using your service or personal Gmail user accounts. Once scanned, we provide you with the ability to populate your fields using your organization's global address list. Once sent, a copy of the document will also appear in your Sent Items folder in Gmail itself. So, let's go through a little screenshot simulation to show you how that works. Here is a great example of seeing all of those global address list members being populated on the front panel of the device itself. What I really like about AutoStore and how it's integrated into Gmail is that when I send, it will also save a copy in my Sent Email folder, which is a fantastic way of keeping track of correspondence that I might have sent off using the MFP. Put your document in the feeder and select or touch Send to Gmail, and you can be faced with this screen. If your organization has mapped this user directory within Google Docs, it becomes immediately available at the front panel for selection. So in this case, we have some hypothetical employees here we can select, hit the button, and off it goes. If you would need to add a button to send to printer or a BCC field, that would be possible too. The next thing we're interested in discussing is our support for Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010. SharePoint is the fastest growing product in the history of Microsoft with 100 million licenses sold and over 4,000 partners worldwide. We've been using SharePoint here internally at NSI for a number of years and using our own Route to SharePoint 2010 component for almost three months now. And we can tell you SharePoint 2010 is an outstanding release from a usability standpoint, a far better end user experience than the 2007 flavor. Our AutoStore platform works seamlessly to drive your paper and electronic documents into Microsoft SharePoint 2010. With AutoStore, you're now able to scan, index, and store paper documents into SharePoint 2010 at the push of a button on your AutoStore-enabled digital copier or existing PC desktop. Scan and route to one or more specified document libraries, create list items, and add fields to the routed documents and list items. Let's go through a short screenshot demo to show you some basic capabilities of AutoStore. Let's have a look at a very basic workflow on the front panel of the MFP. We've set up a basic Send to SharePoint button, so I go ahead and push that, and now I apply some metadata to that document. In this case, the document type is an invoice, the customer number is returned from a database lookup, the name is also returned, along with the account clerk that is responsible for this. All of that is then readily delivered into SharePoint itself. Again, one of the great capabilities of AutoStore is to dynamically rename those files so it's properly referenced here as invoice, John Smith, customer number, instead of an alphanumeric code that may otherwise be generated by the device itself. 
A few new capabilities have been introduced into our SharePoint route component. Click pause if you want to read through them. But the most important one is impersonation. And what is that? Well, here's the user experience. I walk up to the device, I authenticate onto it, and now the connection between the AutoStore powered MFP and SharePoint is identical to the one I use when logged in at my desk. I'm going to see the areas of SharePoint that I have rights to or where my administrator allowed me access to. For instance, as an account clerk, I might not have access or need access to HR or for publicly traded companies, no access to public relations or investor relations sections, so I will only see libraries that I have access to. Very nice net new capability here in Service Pack 3. Scan away and off you go. Last thing to share through our journey on these new destinations is updated support to Route 2 IBM Content Manager 8.4 FileNet P8 version 4 and 4, version 4.5, and DocuWare 5.1. All these root components were already available prior to the Service Pack 3 and are available through the AutoStore Update services for download and installation. Let's talk a little bit about these new capabilities and platform enhancements. When we sat down together to define what would be rolled into this, we realized there were quite a few nice capabilities being added, so let me highlight some of them. First and foremost, the introduction of Abbey version 9. We made a conscious decision to include this new OCR engine in the release, and from our first-hand experience, the results are outstanding, and we're absolutely delighted to see the V9 flavor of the Abbey OCR engine being introduced into the product. We've also added some other base capabilities to some of our capture components. Now, why am I speaking of some of our other capture components? Here's a sales tip. You're probably not going to go into a customer site that does not already have an MFP. Hopefully it's the brand you sell, but maybe not. One of the great capabilities of AutoStore is that it supports multiple device manufacturers. Now, how do you use that to your advantage? So you go into a customer site that does not have the MFP of the brand you sell. The lease is not far enough along as to where they could buy it off, either returning it and paying out the balance of that lease, or having just to continue using the device until the lease expires. With AutoStore, that's not a problem. You could go ahead and deploy AutoStore that day. We have route components to over 500 devices from various manufacturers, so go ahead and extend it out to that device. When leases expire, incrementally bring in your devices when budget allows. Along those lines, we have updated the HP Digital Sender Capture component with some new capabilities that support their latest firmware and their deployment conventions, as well as made some improvements in our Xerox and Rico Capture components. We've also enhanced our old SharePoint 2007 Route 2 component by adding impersonation, as well as our Laserfish component. Last but not least, what you're looking at now is a roll-up of all the additional collateral that we have made available with this release. Don't forget to download and read the Service Pack 3 Quick Reference Guide and appropriate release notes. Thank you for listening, and feel free to learn more about our products at www.nsiautostore.com.